Harris. Robinson there as well. Killebrew and Bobino on the edges. Aaron Harris so active, so good at that middle linebacker spot in the secondary. Cedric and Michael Griffin, Terrell Brown, but Michael Huff has been phenomenal this year in the tradition of very, very good NFL now DBs at Texas. Third and four. Back to throw. Hit as he threw an incomplete boy. Was he lit up by the guy we just talked about? Aaron top ten in the country. Look out. Almost got to Torque. What a rocket shot. Man. Sends Ross back to the 17-yard line. There's a flag down. We got a push in the back coming on Texas. For a brown call. An ball. illegal block in the back on number five of the return team. The penalty is five yards. And it's first down. The person has really become part of everything that surrounds the success of this Texas program. From the 10, quick toss, Linus Swede. Yeah, it's about three yards to the 13. Vince Young, Houston, Texas, Madison High, 22 and 2. You're going to get an indication how this game's going to go right on this first Texas drive. Colorado showing up front. Dead ball foul, a full start on number 72 of the offense. Penalty is five yards. And it's still second down. Susie mentioned the injury to Jamal Charles. So Selvin Young lines up in the backfield with Young. And here is Selvin keeping the pile going out to the 14-yard line. Vince unrelated in the backfield with Carter, Hall, Lima Swede, and David Thomas, a very good tight end. But Selvin Young out of Houston really came back after a fumble last week. The rest of the Outback Steakhouse starting lineups, Jonathan Scott on the edge there at 6'7", 315 out of Carter High School there in Dallas season that will gain some awards you would guess as long as the second half is as good as the first it's young second down toss wide open is Pittman first down bumped out of bounds we have a second the Buffs on defense with Wright, Manapuna, Gary and Legon up front Abraham Wright probably the best of this group he celebrates birthday 21 today the guys in an Iwu Thaddeus Washington the top tackler out of Louisiana in the secondary Lorenzo Sims the junior on one quarter with Garrett Buell, J.J. Billingsley, a safety, made a big play right about this time in the Texas A&M game last week that set the tone up in Boulder. Young to toss. They're having to give a cushion to these receivers, and they're making them pay. Brian Carter to the 42. You see Colorado has been good in three and outing teams or getting a turnover as they did last week. Not so much here. First carry for Selvin. Second carry, I should say, for Selvin Young. They lose a little bit in speed. Loss of about a yard, second and 11, blitz is picked up, and Young throws complete. By the Swede, the first down across midfield into Buff's territory. He's showing that stuff, doesn't fool him. Look at him point, locates the safety, looks over at the corner. Puts it in the belly that time of Selvin Young for a game two. It's a good offense to pick their brain, to say the least. On second down, Vince will throw down the middle for the tight end, Thomas, who wasn't looking. And Ramonts Taylor's at the bottom. Buffs bring some heat. Forcing Young out. He's got room to run. Look out. Good closing speed to keep him shy of the first down. I mean, Tyrone Henderson made a play. Keep the three receivers in there with uh, Selvin Young next to Vince. Selvin leaks out to the left. Vince is looking right. Throwing downfield. Hold in for the first down by Brian Carter. Out of bounds at the 14. Now it's going to be interesting to see if Colorado can withstand the shot to the mouth. Here goes Selvin Young trying to bounce it to the outside. Loss of a yard. Matching wits not only with Mac Brown, but uh, Greg Davis, his outstanding offensive coordinator. Vince took all the action left, brings it back to the right to Ramont Taylor, who is held on to, waiting for the rest of the posse to come get him. They came down the field and scored. Third and 13 after a loss of one and a loss of two. Young to his tight end, Thomas at the five. Hurdles forward, he's got the first down at the three. Colorado got the ball to start the game, went three and out. This is the 14th play of a Texas drive that began at the 10-yard line. Ahmad Hall, the fullback, blocks for Selvin Young, who gets about a yard. He's had a kind of agree with you there, Tim. He, you watch, watch his highlights, and they're so strong, but then in person, his decision-making pops out. Holds it, keeps it. Oh, what a move by Young, the fake. Another fake. Gets toward the goal line. He's going to be just shy. 6'3", 272. He's the back, but Vince Young just takes it over the top. What a drive for the Longhorns out of the gate. 16 plays and a Texas touchdown. 
And this is a quick strike offense. This is a team that have six one-play drives in their 5-0 start. Out of the mat, Nordgren hold. He banks it through. 7-0 UT. That's nice. You get on the field. Seven minutes and 42 seconds. 90-yard drive. No Oklahoma hangover here. Now Joel Flack coming off his best game against Texas A&M last week. Has to get the Buffs offense moving. See them when you come back. You say he's the guy. You know you've got to stop him, and you can't do it. Didn't do it there for sure. Let's see if this kick goes out of bounds. It is fielded by Washington. Perfectly placed. Outscoring their opponents uh, more than 2-1 to one now, Jimmy. This is not a dynamic Colorado offense. They're going to really break huge plays down the field. They're going to focus it on huge Char Hugh Charles here today. <laughs> Second and ten. On the fake. Platt is flushed. Keeps the play alive and throws into traffic. It is complete. Let's we'll see if they mark forward progress. Right two, he slid Rocky with the this passer, scramble. On number 80 of the defense. Penalty is 15 yards to the end of the last run, and it's an automatic first down. Dwayne Aquino, the co-defensive coordinator with Gene Chiswick, signaling in from the sideline. First down. Platt throws to the second level, almost picked off. He was trying to get Kloppenstein. We see alive for a big game. A week from Thursday, they play Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. Top 15 matchup. Carry by Hugh Charles. Ryan's like a starter anyway. The Porter struggled, and when he was hurt, Ryan got right. the starts. Third to quarter of the field, and Tim Crowder says, I'm ready to pass rush. And he's coming from the bottom of your screen. Platt throws the quick out. A hair too quick. 56 yards on his first one. So this one away it will not be as good. And the bounce won't help him either. It'll be a kick of about 36 yards. He's standing to Vince Young's right as his drive starts from the 33. And we'll test him right away, see how that ankle looks. 38, gain of five. Take Young out of the ball game because he's going to have the ball and he's going to make sure he knows where that ball's going. Test Charles' ankle again to, to the 40-yard line. Selvin Young comes back in for third and a <laughs> full three. And gets to go to the air. Where they're picking up all the blitzes. David Thomas, 50 and more. Boom! over the safety. What a play. David, he's moving up on that all-time Texas tight end list. He had five last week against Oklahoma. Mitch Young scrambling, faking. Beautiful job to get it back to Pittman. Are you kidding me? To the 17-yard line. Pittman was getting ready to start blocking. But that's the problem. He's got to be accounted for. He's 9 of 10, hands to Charles that time, and gains barely a yard. We'll talk more about that, too, because the trend in football at every level now is to have the guy who runs. On second down, Vince keeping inside the 10, inside the 5, do it again! Vince Young, wow. touchdown, Texas! Oh, man! Are you kidding me? the extra point and just like that two drives there you go two scores 14 nothing Vince Young what a little exclamation point on what this means for them being up 14 nothing Colorado in the first five games was three and out defensively they let everybody stop them not here 14 to nothing over Colorado Another deep kickoff this time. Terry Washington will take it out from two yards deep. Good job of fighting by Washington. You would think, barring injury or a, a quick derailment of this Texas run, this is one of their tougher remaining games. Clack to the air, same waggle on first down. The tight end, Kloppenstein. Joel Likely the final play of this first quarter here in Austin. Hugh Charles, who has been hemmed in, trying to drive it. Just the first quarter comes to an end. Complete domination. Texas 14. Colorado nothing. ABC Sports presentation of college football will continue. After this message and a word from your ABC station. Two long scoring drives. Up 14 nothing. Second quarter starts with third and a yard. And Clatt sneaky. It was up to 39 to nothing to open conference play. Non-conference wins over Colorado State. 5-3 in New Mexico State. Platt first down throw. Got a lot of first down passing. Five yards there. There's been no running game 
for CU thus far. Five attempts, just three yards. Will this be the sixth? Hugh Charles runs to the open side, has some room, got across the 40, and a first down three different times. After their biggest play from scrimmage, Platt play action, quick shot to Vickers, Lawrence takes it across the first down marker, down to the 42. Joel Platt absorbed a lot on that game. First sustained drive for the Buffs, awaking the fans here in Austin. Charles, what a good defensive play on the edge. They just think he is, he's like a coach on the field. They love to play with this kid. Making his 28th start here this afternoon. Second down, deep drop, eludes the blitz, throws it on the run, a little high and intercepted. And dropped. This will be called an interception, fumble, and recovery. Mike Tirico, temperature in the 80s. Beautiful day in Austin. Vince Young back to work. Two drives, two scores. Looking deep for Billy Pittman. He's got it. Billy Pittman to the 13. 62. Three catches, 99 yards. This is a walk in the park for UT so far. Vince hands it to Selvin Young. Couldn't bounce it to the outside. You <laughs> still like him on a lot of teams. The thing that amazes me so far is the speed of Texas. And this guy, Vince at the 10, at the 5. Tied up and finally brought down. I think they were just, his dancing to them is another story, but he does listen. Said he danced in a Rose Bowl if they get there. Young gets to the end zone. Selvin with his third. Touchdown of the season, third touchdown of the game for UT. Timmy, I haven't had a chance to ask you how the family is, how last week was with Brent, but we might have some time to talk here today. Yes, sir. <laughs> for that whole afternoon, making it look easy. Uh, Selvin Young, he's got one. Vince Young has two. And number two is up 21. He's done. So much talk about Virginia Tech being number two when the BCS poll comes out. I think Texas is trying to make a statement. We'll talk about that uh, as we go forward. We'll confuse on who is going to take this kickoff. We'll finally haul in Maya Robinson, who can't get it back to the 20 yard line. Does it matter? Holding on number 15 of the return team. The penalty is half the distance to the goal, and it's first down. This question we've gone above and beyond. <laughs> We'll answer that in a couple of minutes. Is there an answer for Colorado offensively? Not yet. Second and ten. Take the draw down the middle. The receiver is trying to break free. And that receiver was coming open, too. Third and ten. Pressure's on. Look out. Black gets hit as he gets rid of it. The way things are going here tonight. Turn set up today. Excuse me. Not a good kick. Forty. Ross on the run for the 48, looking for blocks, trying to pick him up. And a nice return, very patient. Texas takes over, great field position at the CU 37-yard line. We've seen a little bit of Jamal Charles for one series. Ramont Taylor now comes in to play tailback, and Vince Young looking left. Looking long for Ramont Taylor from out of the backfield. He had the step, but they couldn't hook up. And he just, why bother showing up? It's just not the same. <laughs> Big run, Selvin Young. First down to take it out to the 20 yard line. That was right on the heels of the loss to Oklahoma, and people started questioning number 10 in the burnt arm. Here he is swinging it to Ramon Taylor. The receiver couldn't make the block, and Taylor is escorted out of bounds. Of all the television announcers and all the good things that they were saying about him his abilities to throw, his abilities to run, his abilities to read defenses. Mr. Ramon's Taylor there, three to the 16, third down coming up. Uh, any of the blitz action that Colorado's brought has been picked up so easily by Young. Third down and six, throws right in a tight spot. It's called in for the first down at the eight-yard line. Well, this kid gets results. From the eight into the boundary, Selvin Young nowhere to run, and he lost three yards. Here. And he has done nothing to deter that conversation in the first five games or in this half. Young carrying again, back to the eight, so we'll have third and goal. That old cliche, take what the defense gives you. Go ahead, they've done that this afternoon. Third and goal. Young has time. Taking off. What a move inside the five. To the end zone. He's in again. Another Vince Young highlight. Another Vince Young touchdown.
he picks it up. And it's where he picks it up because he's now. You look there. See, I think the ball's loose before it gets to the plane. It's almost a situation where you have to match the two replays. Go back and see when is it coming free, and then look back at the prior one we just saw down the goal line. Because he moves it to that huge left hand trying to break the plane, and as he moves it to the left hand, it's coming free. 28 to nothing. Well, he started five for five against Oklahoma last week. He comes in here today and he just lights up Colorado in the first half. Texas kickoff coverage unit will have a lot of film to watch. Their fifth trip down the field. Let's see what Robinson can do with this one. Brings it across the 20. It's been awful field position. He ran around it by him and outran him right to the goal line. From the 22, Joel Platt to the air. Runs incomplete. Sipniewski, the second tight end, was... There is very little depth at Colorado right now. Second and 10 from the 22. Platt's pass in and out of the hands. Patrick Williams with no yards gain and one interception. Third and 10. Off the edge, Michael Huff brought the heat, almost got there. Black keeps it alive and completes it for a first down. It's a dusty spray. He was pushing all the right buttons. From the 45, a little toss to Hugh Charles. Try to get to the edge. Got rid of a good safety there, Huff, and took it for eight yards. In the An inadvertent face mask on the defense. Penalty is five yards. And then on the back end of it, Cedric Griffin whistled for the flag. So first and ten for CU, second four into Texas territory. And no gain with Vickers. Gary's known him for a while. Tried to hire Joel's dad way back when. A couple of decades in coaching lives ago. Here is Joel on the play action. Working it nicely underneath. Good job by Vickers to bring it in. Lawrence is called the V-back. Vickers set to lead the way for Charles out of that backfield. It is Charles. Vickers got enough of a block. And as Charles moves forward and gets the first down. CU trying to draw something here. Best looking drive so far. Here is Charles. You just guy only carries two wedges. He's got to get a couple more wedges. He's, he's at 60 degrees. Second and nine. Here comes the blitz. He got rid of it. Incomplete. Had to force the issue. Gave the uh, fine sports information director at Colorado. Tenth play of the longest drive of the Colorado day. Can they keep it going? What? It is in and out of the hands. Of Evan Judge, the wide receiver. And here's the man, Mason Crosby. He's kicked a 72-yarder in practice. School record 60. Has a 58 at Miami at sea level already this year. It's a chip shot for him. It's 48. Easily makes it through. And Mason is from right here. I mean, this guy grew up Georgetown High School in Austin. We saw Mike Nugent at Ohio State, how good he was. He's gone to the Jets and struggled here in his first year. It is a jump, and that's something new without the tee. This time, a Crosby kick does not get to the end zone. It's a return opportunity for Ramon Taylor, who's brought down at their own 28 with just one timeout and 3.05 left before halftime. He's got time. High throw, hauled in. Lima Sweed looking for that first tour win 17 under as they have a hole left so Hal one back check us out tomorrow out there young the long toss David Thomas caught it but a penalty marker neighbor to the north penalty declined second and nine young is blitzed and swings it out to Selvin Young Selvin gets the first down into Colorado territory at the 43 Charles played one series with that ankle injury he has uh, come out not been back since there's Vince on a design run, making people miss again to the 35-yard line. And he runs like jiggle joints. A nice little stiff arm he snuck in there. And from the 35, up top for Limas. Sweet! Yes, he caught it! Touchdown, Texas! They're five for five in the first half. Yeah, Vince, he's just that kind of guy who's just lovable and laughable. Put on the headsets one day and said, hey, coach, I love you. Bye. And put the headsets down. Well, Greg probably said, I love you for this first half. 345 yards, five possessions, five touchdowns, 306 yards of total offense. They very rarely, if ever, lose in this place. Saw under Mac Brown. 
41 and 3. It's going to improve by one this afternoon. Another return by Stefano Robinson. He brings it across the 30. Out to the 35. Out of Virginia Tech, Frank Beamer just signed that huge contract for him. And his assistants, too. Flat with the throw. It's caught by Patrick Williams. Essentially held out until he got the money for his assistants to sign that contract. Flat throws. Complete the Dusty Sprague. The ball is out. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with Colorado. Loss of four after the fumble. Well, you never want to dip your head like that when you're making a tackle because it certainly exposes your neck. First and ten, gain of 23 to Kloppenstein, the tight end up before halftime. But most of them are trying to cheer their defense on. Keep the Buffs out of the end zone. Two complete pass. And Second and ten, some time, and a lane to throw, but miscommunication. The Rams and Colts for you on Monday night. Third and ten, that throw is complete for the first down inside the ten-yard line. You've got a chance, and again, he worked the inside on Huff, but Joel put the ball there for him. Final 30 seconds, quick hit, right back to him, nowhere to go. Meantime, here with five seconds left, CU will go for the end zone, eschew the field goal, and they get the touchdown with Evan Judge. With a second to spare. <laughs> That's right, it says double zero on your screen. Way that extra time spill off. Doesn't become that. Crosby adds the extra point. That would have been Texas into that championship game otherwise. And right. That's why there's been so much heat on Mac Brown and company. All this heat, they've won 9, 9, 11, 11. Final play of this first half. Vermont's Taylor trying to make something happen. He's brought down at the 37 as it comes to an end. Vince Young and the Longhorns. Five possessions, five touchdowns, 306 yards of total offense. Texas 35, Colorado 10. John and the guys coming up as we continue with more after this message. And a word from your ABC station. Thinks he's a quality guy, so we'll, we'll see if he's if he can pick up his play here in the second half. Mason Crosby's kickoff will go five yards deep in the end zone. Will not be returned by the Longhorns, who perhaps a 23rd win as a starter. 22 and two in his UT career. This one deflected high up in the air and incomplete. Let's say about a nice little play here. If Colorado could just make a stop, it'd be a big confidence pillow. Make a play, make something happen. Young's been the one doing that. Gains about six. And we'll tell you the story in a little bit about how Vince has used McNair, not just as an example, but as a real great leaning post as a man and a player. First down pass complete. There goes the tight end. David Thomas bouncing off like a pinball. Take him out to the 46. A 21-yard gain. First and ten with Selvin Young in the backfield. There he takes it for about a yard. The uh, pile. They, they just, they're having a tough time figuring out where the, the point of attack is. Blitz coming. Young picked it up. Great job, Thomas. There is a little safety blanket. First down. Simple toss by Vince Young. A nice block to free Brian Carter for a gain of nine yards. Vince Young, like Steve McNair, no father figure around in his life at an early age. So Vince kind of just took over with his uh, sisters and mom just acted from an early age as the man of the household. Gives here to Selvin Young, who gets a first down to the 27-yard line. Of African-American quarterbacks succeeding on the next level, but also as a man. The throw by Young is hauled in. Beautiful catch by Billy Pittman. I'm sorry, it's Lima Swede. As of our hands, and he's got that great speed to go along with him. Selvin Young tries to get the corner. Beautiful open field play. J.J. Billingsley. Holding number 16 in the offense. Penalty is 10 yards and replay second down. And that really couldn't be as effective as normal. Try to save him up for next week. When Texas Tech comes in, Young with time. Throws it a hair late. The pass is incomplete. Eye-popping performance he had, not just in that game, but uh, in the opener when he went for 135, over 180 against Rice. Dead ball foul, offside by number 93 of the defense. The penalty is five yards, and it's still third down. Yes, he's going to sweep well after the Oklahoma game. I think he was right. Third and six. Vince Young swings it out to Selvin Young. Nice open field play to bring him down. Made him all this year. Nordgren spots it. Pino missed it. 
to the right. So his first miss of the season. And Colorado's defense, although it took five minutes and nine seconds, sixth game of the season. Defense back on the field. Joel Platt leads the Colorado offense from the 22. We get out to Hugh Charles, the running back who's been stopped in the ground game. Broke it down to two-on-two -two football. Pick up six, second and four. And Byron Ellis getting a few more turns, yards shy up. In the Big 12 championship game, and even though this has been lopsided, this could be a preview of the Big 12 title game. To the edge, Charles. First down and more. Got across the 40 and slides down to the 43. Play clock at five, so Platt's in good shape. You see it there. There's a first down throw, complete to Dusty Spray. An illegal formation on the offense. Number 89 was not on the line of scrimmage. The penalty is five yards, and it's still first down. But given the defense of Texas a little more to think about. Off the flag, first and 15, play action, looking deeper down the field. Oh, it was almost an interception and almost a big play all in one. Cedric has that four-year starter. Second and 15, third consecutive pass, Platt going sideline. Step for step, Terrell Brown had the coverage. That's good coaching. Third and 15. They rush five, cover with six. They try to go the same way, and Brown does it one more time, but a penalty marker comes down as Patrick Williams. Against Texas. I'll tell you, this is a pretty good matchup going on right here now. Watch the technique again. He's going to try to force him back to the sidelines. Again, he jumps in his hip pocket, and he's got him pretty well covered. I don't see where there was any, any penalty there. Now the crowd's back into it. But CU's on the Texas side of midfield. First down run with Ellis. To the 43. He was a step away from breaking that. Fell into a quick 14-0 hole. At the end of the first quarter. Flat pressure. Got to get rid of it. Does. Incomplete. They need to get to the 37 to keep the drive alive. You see the yellow line there. And the play clock says zero. It's never a good thing. Dead ball foul. Delay of game on number 14 of the offense. Penalty five yards. And it's still third down. Texas asking for their fans to pick it up. Black gets it off. They run option for the first time today with Hugh Charles nowhere. The penetration of Michael Hunt. The footer really high, but not very deep. Tough to catch. Ross moves through the traffic. I've been here to do stories, basketball games over at the drum. But Looking like a football Saturday in Austin. First down run by Selvin Young over to the 28-yard line. Longhorns are upset here. They want to come out and get this thing rolling again. With the play clock down at one. Vince is going to keep this one. Try to dance to the hole and get it to the 32. Okay, get it. In Austin. That will be a good one. Third down. Vince Young wrapped up. Eluded a tackle. Couldn't get there for the first down. Richmond McGee, the punter. Hasn't kicked yet today until now. A 40-yard kick that looked like a very half-hearted fair catch signal. Get to Susie Schuster for an update in a second. First, Joel Platt back to work from his own 28. Hey, what do you know? A waggle on first down. And a drop pass. Incomplete to Dustin Sprague. Sprague. They didn't expect that here today, but it's been the same kind of dominance. Movement by the left guard. Dead ball foul. A false start by number 73 of the offense. The penalty is five yards, and it's still second down. I think that's the one unit you watch is defense when you separate these teams with this impressive offensive array. Here's another flag. Michigan at 10. A false start by number 73 of the offense. All right, there you go, Clint. The penalty is five yards. Two in a row. And it's still second down. This is unbelievable. Second now and 20. Platt got rid of it quick. Meet Charles. What a play. Defensive uh, middle, the linebackers. A good job they are doing. Platt, the toss is complete to spray. He'll be shy of the first down. Run into, no flags in fall. The kick was only 37 yards. Rush on the run. It's a lot of work. Excellent After defense. Play, a personal foul on number 17 of the kicking team. The penalty is 15 yards, 
And it's first down. That's unbelievable. You hold Oklahoma to 77 yards rushing, you, you've had a day. And Chung to the air, Ramonch Taylor made a few miss, here comes a flag. Face mask. An inadvertent face mask on number 40 of the defense. The penalty is five yards from the end of the run, and replay first down. This is as uh, comfortable and happy and friendly a group of players that uh, I've been around all year and really the last couple of years. Taylor gets the first down, brought down to the 37-yard line. 23 of 27 throwing. The running game has been aided by that as Sylvan Young takes it inside of 30. They're like that, but the game of football has gone like that, and the quarterback now has to be accounted for defensively. Young brought to an heat quickly by Thaddeus Washington. He used to have to account for him anyway in the wishbone because of right. his assignment defense. Hey, you see the play clock diving down on third and one. The big back pounds forward. Henry Melton with the carry. They're, they're plenty comfortable now, up 25. And the big guy, go get him, Melton. Well, they found him. He can make a good collision point. But that technique is good coaching, and he just executed that perfectly. Wayne Aquino, the co-defensive coordinator with Gene Chizik. There's a lot of good players that he's taught over on that defensive side. All Texans. No scoring in the third. They still lead by 25. And ABC Sports presentation of college football will continue after this message and a word from your ABC station. Now we see USC in a battle with Notre Dame tied at 21, and they could be number one. Vince fakes it, throws it, pass interference flag coming up. That was actually a smart play. Texas pass interference again. on number three of the defense. It's a spot foul and an automatic first down. First down for Vince Young. If you're just joining us, he's having another fabulous day. 58 yards rushing, 315 passing. Selvin Young has been the uh, carry the load guy in this drive, and he did not get to a bowl. They'll finish under 500. Second and eight. Here is Vince Young to the end zone. One more time. Touchdown, Lima Swede. Thank you. His results are phenomenal. Extra point added by Pino. 386 yards, a total offense for Vince Young. A Heisman-type performance, 42-10 at UT. They're thinking, hmm, maybe we'll be number one in about an hour. This season after a 41-7 Texas regular season win by beating them in the Big 12 championship game by two. Giving UT for the national championship game and sending the Longhorns to the Holiday Bowl. Tom Robinson with the return. The uh, matchup of undefeated. Colorado will play Kansas at home. Uh, they're going to drop the 4-2 and two and be tied for first in the Big 12. On by Williams, he's out of bounds. 42-10, the horns on top. And they aren't pleasant flights. Tough trip back. Sure. Flat throw too high to be hauled in by Patrick Williams. Responsible for five Texas touchdowns. On the afternoon, a uh, third and long one toss. Wide open is the tight end, and Joe Kloppenstein takes it shy of midfield. First and ten, ball resting on midfield. A room to run for Hugh Charles. Gained him about two yards, 17 runs, 43 yards for the Buffs on the day. To the recruiting scandal, which came to light after Rick Riley's column in Sports Illustrated with the, uh, because of the pain that some had to suffer regarding that. Well, Gary Barnett is still in Boulder and still the football coach at CU. Platt throws out of bounds and incomplete. Get the papers. It's a tough situation for Gary right now. This punt will uh, be downed beautifully inside the 10-yard line. He does in his 80s, the legendary coach who won three national titles here. 11 Southwest Conference titles and no losing seasons in his 20 years. Vince Young still in the game for Texas. Selvin Young. Really, Texas' last big hurdle until the championship game. Most of the guys from Baylor all of a sudden show up. They're 9 and 1 or 10 and 1. They're rolling, but his dad, Ray, played for the Jets. Casey stuttered 64. Folks in Denver remember his daddy. Ramon Taylor lost the football. Couldn't get it back. It's free. The Buffs got a great shot at it. And they, they got, got it. it. Yep, I think it's J.J. Billingsley, bottom of the pile. Whoa, that's a flag. And, yeah, absolutely a flag. Make something Extra happen. Play 
a personal foul on number 51 of the offense. The penalty's half the distance to the goal, and it's a first down. Look at this crowd. Great stuff for the fans here in Austin. See if CU can get back on the board. They run with Byron Ellis. Takes it down. Start exchanging and flopping. Maybe they can get a tight end loss. But Kloppenstein, who's the motion guy, 89. Kloppenstein's out in the flat. Looking that way. Throwing that way. And if I knew it, the Texas defense knew it. Cover Teddy Ginn. Kept in the two receptions in Columbus this year. He is the real deal. Third and goal. Flat. Nope. Fourth down. Coming up. So we'll let you listen to them for this play. Touchdown, Luffenstein. And again, Joel Klatt takes a hit as he releases the football. He released it. Mason Crosby adds the extra point, 42-17. For the Buffs. Now you don't have a president in place and a, and a chancellor for a very long time, new athletic director. You think Colorado's going to have to make a decision pretty quickly here at the end of the season. There are probably some things in there, and I know there are, that, that yes. Gary wish he hadn't done or, or done better. But I'll tell you, he's handled himself, I think, very, very well through this entire episode. 394 total yards and responsible for all those touchdowns here today with the adversity they dealt with last year. Hey, let me correct myself. Vince Young has five total touchdowns here today. Three runs, two passes. Nordgren's throw is incomplete. And there's a quarterback, Vince Young, because things change drastically, obviously, with Vince out of the picture. If he ever got hurt, Richmond McGee's punt will go out of bounds at the 42-yard line. James Cox out of Simi Valley, California. The junior is coming at quarterback, and already we have last Brian week. Snap. A false start by number 62 of the offense. The penalty's five yards, and it's still first down. Texas has done that to a few quarterbacks this year. So James Cox to the air. Pass incomplete. Just as good as you can possibly get, making a statement for the Heisman Trophy, and a terrific performance today by Vince Young. There's a difference in him this year, and we've talked about it. But, I mean, here's a guy, the quarterback, that ran for over 1,000 yards last year. Now he's still running, but he's throwing so much more effectively. Time of possession today, and this is not a time of possession team. Normally, Texas is a quick strike team. Six offensive drives or one play. One play drives. 750 remaining. What a joy it was to visit with Mac Brown here this week. First down run. For about a yard or two. And having fun. Huh. Chris Obanaya here running now. Susie Schuster down on the field. Well, to his credit, you know, we kind of joked, as we mentioned earlier, Mac downloading some songs on his iPod that are rap songs from 50 Cent. <laughs> Nordgren's pass is incomplete. The thing that keeps them out of the streets and away from drugs and so many different other problems and issues that they have in their lives. And by opening his ears to that, and understanding what he's trying to learn their background. He wants to learn what makes them tick. And he's doing I mean, that, that gives him a lot of credit. You're right. Nice play by James Cox here, throwing to Kloppenstein. The State has the ball. Michigan leads by three. Trying to knock off the last unbeaten within the Big Ten. What a hit. The ball comes out. Did they ruin a catch and a fumble? Yes, they did. And Texas seems to have possession. The Longhorns come up with a turnover. The recovery. Same way when you make a great hit. Henry Melton pounds forward, 272 pounds. When they play teams that are slightly above them in talent, Joel Klatt tends to absorb a lot of hits. Happened again today. Melton tries to keep that because the fans are demanding that, hey, it's third winning his program. Big run. Ahmad Hall. Exactly, Ahmad Hall. Every team should have a Marine in the backfield. Except for five. Served our country. Now he came back, kept his dream alive to play football. Melting the carry there. Well, you know, the kid's a warrior. You know, hey, they're shooting live bullets today when we play against this team. Or, you know, you hear those those cliches, and yet this is a game. This is a game. What they're doing over there is a real deal. Third and four from the 14 is Texas. Just patting the stats here. Getting the final number laid down. Melton carries one more time. As successful as he was, he didn't beat Oklahoma, and they were down on him. And I mean, he stayed above all that. He knew he was doing the right things. He knew his program was headed in the right direction. 
in that scenario a couple of years ago and ended up being Texas denied its opportunity. Uh, two or three teams all tied up at the top of the Big 12 over in the north. And we'll have the matchup here. What do you think about Texas Tech? Before we head out of here, Larry Zimmer, the radio announcer for Colorado, broadcast his 1,000th game. Congratulations to Larry, one of the first-class people in our business. And these two guys are friends, know each other well. A nice handshake and greeting between Mac and Gary. And good chance you guys may see each other again in December. All right, let's bang out our Chevrolet players of the game here in Austin. Well, there's no question, Mike, about who the Chevrolet player of the game is for Texas. Vince Young, just a spectacular day, 394 yards, total offense, five touchdowns. And Joel Klatt, for his toughness, what he did today, ends up 19 of 39, 189, two touchdowns, interception. But he gets it because he is just a quality guy and really a tough quarterback. Final in Austin, 42-17. Texas, Texas Tech, next Saturday, 2.30 Central Time. The Buffs head back 4-2. Texas could be the number one team in the country in about 30 minutes.